Hey everybody, guess what's cooking today? Well, the title and the thumbnail was a dead giveaway. I'm going to market, fish market. I'm in the mood for some steam lionfish. Don't know if I get none though, but let's see how that goes. We want enough okra and crackers in our steam fish and we want it well spicy. We're going to do something nice today. <laughs> so before we start though please like share subscribe and click the bell icon or else you won't get any steam fish or any other food i cook also please leave a comment i really appreciate the feedback Fish market is always exciting because you never really know where you're going to find. Before I get any fish, I need to grab some okra and get a few things at the supermarket. What's your bag? 150. Give me a bag now. <laughs> Can't have steamed fish without coconut milk. CPJ is not a bad brand. So we need some grace cock soup for that extra level of flavor. <laughs> Watch out, brother man, pick up chicken noodle. I need some tough crackers, aka water crackers. Why them call them water crackers? They're only made with flour and water. One pack is good. Next I'm going to grab some butter. Real butter is nice, but any other day I would have just grab some stick margarine and keep it pushing. I want some scallion and fresh thyme. So you know when a Jamaican food, it have scallion, thyme, scotchy and pimento. Really wish me to grab a pack of the Julian carrot. Oh, them have okra too. And much cheaper. Grab some parsley too. I'm going to use it in this recipe though. Wonder where them have color loop. You're lucky me, got the last one. Alright, time to cash all of this and head out to find some fish. So now back at the fish market, I can't find any lionfish so snap and grunt it this time. So you have to be snapper. Yeah man, I snapper more on today. So can't be too. Ah, that was a nice catch. So this is Peter and Peter have the only lion fish in the them less.
Come in, my house. I'm going to get money. 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 I'm I was low seen, man. Tap one, can't tap. So, lionfish are an aggressive, invasive species to Caribbean waters, and they don't have a lot of natural predators, mostly because of their venomous spines. They reproduce in large numbers and they have a big appetite so they end up out competing other native fish, eating juveniles and disrupting coral reef ecosystems. So yeah, these fish are really bad news. So we're encouraged to eat them as a way to help control their population. Not a problem for me though. I, I didn't really need encouragement because it tastes yeah. Love them to Love them to mine. The thing is, you know, when they just, when they just start here about lionfish, nobody never no, want No, because they say they're poison. Yeah. Because they say they're going to be a poison, they're going to be a poison. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. Time they're just lionfish. Oh and gosh, lion. man. And look on them, look on them, and then up again. I think that's the idea still, they want to catch them all. Yes, yes, that, yes, because yeah. it's a tough time to count out. So if you have them all, because they want to destroy the population, the fish population. Yeah. So now all of this spine is... No, man, all they want to have. And then the needle on the panel back, so they cut out. Yeah. One of them jam it, and then sharp and needle, man. They want to touch you. You have venom gone in your blood. I don't want to fuck up a finger, you know. You can find one, you see, pan yourself. Yeah. Yeah, man, because I bridge them, you clean them all the while, they are going to have a finger, you know, and you know, you know, try to take them out, you know. Then they're standing there and fist up in your finger, you know. Then you can find one. Thank God, I'm not the bridge around this house to kill my fish. Spine, they just a protect mm. nice meat. Yes, <laughs> just anybody attack him. Can you show them the spine that they have to keep up? <laughs> I want to go by. All right, so everything ready now. Time to head home. Yeah, so Peter deal really fish them good, nice and clean. This is a nice size lionfish. Everything is fresh. So I'm just going to rinse them in a vinegar solution before we season them up. Snapper, lionfish, snapper, grunt, and snapper again. So now we're going to season lightly with salt. Get both sides and insides as well. I'm going to light with the salt because we have some salty ingredients like butter, coxo, powdered season. These are all salty. Next is black pepper. 
season both sides and insides as well. Next up, we want some powdered seasoning. You can use powdered fish seasoning here. Different brands taste different, but most are okay. If you watch any of my previous videos, you already know this is Cajun seasoning. I have an unhealthy relationship with Cajun. So next, I'm making a stuffing for the fish with the color low I got. Oh, look at that. I had cock soup at home. I'm adding a little less than half the pack, a couple of tablespoons. Add a pinch of salt. Powdered fish season slash Cajun. Black pepper. Give it a little toss, then add a third of the stick of butter. I sliced it. Next, just mix that in until it holds together. So you want hard butter for this, soft butter will just melt away. Next we stuff them. Open up the belly of the fish and stuff as much of the color low mixture that will hold inside. So the butter and the kalaloo mixture will help keep the fish tender and juicy and the fish will flavor the kalaloo mixture while it cooks so win-win for both the kalaloo and the fish so you might be saying it's steamed fish so it's juicy by default because it has so much liquid in it no it's still possible to overcook fish in a liquid the texture becomes trashy and dry tasting despite swimming in sauce Stuff the last fish and perfect, no waste. All right, give them one last look before the next step. So I'm going to steam the fish in the oven, but first we want some salted stuff for an extra level of flavor. So time some sliced onions, finely diced garlic, scotch bonnet pepper, and some whole dried pimenta should do. I'm going to steam them on this baking tray, so let's saute it on that. Pour on a little oil. Oh, we can preheat the oven from now. 300 degrees should do, low and slow. All right, let's saute. So as soon as we start to have a little browning, we can remove from the fire. <clears throat> So after listening to people's business, we can place each fish on the sauteed season. It's not proper Jamaican steamed fish without coconut milk, so I'm pouring out a can. Add the rest of the cock soup mix. The noodles are optional, but I'm adding everything. A generous amount of red pepper flakes, because I'm wrongfully underestimating the scotch I added earlier. 
give that a nice mix to dissolve the coxo powder and then we'll just go and pour it over our fish yeah the steam fish are kind of that long and I'm kind of hungry A couple of pieces of butter. One the ground tail is too long and I hang over, so cut that off. Almost ready for the oven, but first we need more veg, so slice one onion. We need some scallion, julian carrot. We don't have to do this if we just buy the damn thing. Sweet pepper. Get that out of the way and slice some okra. Okra isn't optional. Overdo the okra. It's good for your back. Get all those vegetables and the fish. Again. That's pretty. We'll cover tightly with fire Slide in the preheated oven and go watch your cat for 20 to 35 minutes. half an hour later I'm removing it from the oven it's almost done but it's missing one key thing I'm adding the tough crackers this late because I don't want them soggy put them in any earlier and then I got to also soak up all the liquid Just lay them nicely on top of the fish. Then we can cover again and place it back in the oven to go for another five minutes or so. Five minutes later and we're ready. Nice. Crackers not soggy and fish cook nice and tender. This smells darn good. You know, me never really used to like steam fish all that much until me saw cook it this way. It's full of flavor. Creamy coconut. Scotch bonnet spice it up nice, the crackers perfect and the fish juicy, tender and sweet. Steam fish and a steam fish without okra. Sounds the hell it is okra, but time for the fish and the callaloo. The gravy is spicy, but the fish not as spicy. Like, mm, fish not overcook. No, not cook either. <laughs> <laughs> mm, 
some chai crackers. You mm. said chai crackers? I got chai crackers. I have a chai crackers. <laughs> that would. Crackers is perfect. Not yeah. too soggy. Not too dry. Yeah. May I go try the okra? <laughs> I'm going to try the okra. What a brain we're doing, but. Nice. Okra fun, but may I eat one more? Yeah, there we go. Two opera. This trend they're making. Mm-hmm. Mm, juicy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I feel like the, the pepper hit me now. But it's super juicy. More colors. Finally, let's check out the lionfish. Now this this top there, sweet and tender, lionfish did make for steam. You have to give this a try. Just let me know how it went in the comments. Yeah, that juicy. That really juicy. See you in the book. Slime. <laughs>